So if you've never coded out a web page before, as you can see, it's fairly straightforward, at least initially. And if you've done this before, this is all old news. All right, now, if you want to, just before we go and create our external style sheet, if you want to, this is completely optional, what you could do is you could drop your cursor anywhere inside your body element, that body container that we set up, and you could type in your name, perhaps your first name or your first name and your last name, something like this, right? And then save your document, Controller Command S, and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go all the way down to my desktop, into my work files folder and sure enough there's my index file that we just saved out in the previous exercise and I could open this guy up inside a web browser just double clicking on him to open him up inside a browser and sure enough there's my name right it's not terribly exciting not yet anyway wait until we get those Photoshop layouts those Photoshop designs inside our browser now that's really gonna be cool but anyway there you go that's just kind of a, a quick kind of neat thing that you can do if you've never really done this stuff before all right now Back to the task at hand, which is to set up our external style sheet. Now, how this is going to work, again, I'm just going to break it down just in case you've never done this before. We're going to have two documents. We're going to have an HTML file and we're going to have an external CSS file. The HTML file contains the raw content for our, for our page, okay? Things like the graphics and the text and layout containers and things like that. The CSS the external style sheet, he drives the formatting of the HTML file. He controls the look and feel of the HTML. That's how it works. So HTML is structure, CSS is dress up. All right, so let's go and create this external style sheet. What I'm gonna do is inside my coding application, I'm not sure where you are, you could be in Text Wrangler or Notepad or who knows. Here, of course, I'm inside Coda. I'm gonna choose File New and Coda actually allows me to choose CSS as a file type. Now, I'm not sure that your application is gonna allow you to do that or not. If it won't allow you to do that, and I'm guessing it's not gonna allow you to do that, you can just create a brand new blank file. All right, so now we have this thing called an external style sheet. We actually haven't set them up with any formatting rules just yet, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna choose File, Save As. This is inside the new blank document, right? And I'm gonna save this guy also inside my Work Files folder. Now the file extension that we wanna use this time is .css. So the first time it was .html, the second time now it's gonna be .css. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this guy a name, something like styles.css. That's usually what I name these guys, okay? and then go ahead and click on save. Now, if your application gives you any kind of warnings, like, hey, are you really sure you wanna use .css, you know, things like that, just make sure to actually use that file extension. You might have to confirm that you wanna use that file extension. All right, so wonderful. We have two files, the HTML and the CSS, but they're not connected to one another. So in other words, the CSS file is not controlling the HTML file, not yet anyway. What we want to do now is we want to connect the two together. We want to imagine literally plugging a cord or a cable into one file from another file, okay? So here's how we're going to do it. Inside the HTML file, make sure you're inside index.html, okay? Look for that head container that you and I had inserted previously, and we're going to put in just a little bit of code inside this head container. All right, now give me a moment. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom in on my code just a little bit, just so you can see it a little bit more clearly. All right, here's what I'm gonna type in. It's very simple. Open angle bracket, link, space, rel, R-E-L, equals, and then in quotes, style sheet. Okay, so make sure it's rel equals, open quote, style sheet, close quote, and then after the close quote, I'm gonna put in a space, and then I'll type in, type, the word type, equals, and then in quotes, text forward slash CSS. Okay, I hope you're still with me here. I'm gonna throw in a space after that closing quote. I'm gonna type in media equals, and then in quotes, all. All right, and then we're almost done here. I'm gonna throw in a space, and I'm gonna say href equals, and then in quotes, whatever you and I had called our external style sheet. So I called mine styles.css, if you'll recall. After the closing quote, 
I'm going to throw in my closing angle bracket, just like that. Okay, so that's the, the code. This is the cord or the cable that connects one file to another file. Okay, this is a reference to our external style sheet. So once again, link rel equals style sheet, type equals text slash CSS, media all, href equals, and then whatever you would call your external style sheet. Okay. All right, go ahead and make sure to save up your external style sheet. Good stuff. So in other words, how this works is the HTML file points to the external style sheet. All right, good stuff. Now, let's see if we can test our external style sheet to make sure that it's working. 